Welcome back, you guys, to another Vintage Cube Draft here on magicthegathering.internet slash United Nations. Today we're doing a stipulation draft, and uh, it was submitted by uh, John Steiner. The stipulation is only take cards with less than two of the same colored mana. Uh, example, Jace the Mind Sculptor is off-limits. Ojitai is totally fine. Uh, cards with current mana counts more than six are an exception, so is channel, mana drain, and cards that have alternate costs. So Force of Will is, is fine. Uh, Dismember is fine, because they have alternate costs. Um, so, you know, like a card... For example, Mox Sapphire is totally fine, and nothing in this nothing in this pack is particularly off-limits. But, um, yeah, so we can take Titans, for example, because six mana costs or more are off-limits, or, or they're, they're exceptions, rather. So I'm going to take this Mox, because that seems like a good choice. And then we're ideally going to get past an ancestral, a birthday ancestral recall, because that's what people want to do. Got a got a little birthday diet A and W up in here. You know how you know how we do. Uh oh, here's a here's a Karn. A Carney boy. Bribery is off limits, unfortunately. So is Angel Sanctions and Avenger of No Avenger's good. Supreme Verdict off limits. Murderous Cut Magma Jet Legal. I think we're just gonna take the Karn, especially with the Mock Sapphire. Karn actually could be a legit win condition in this cube. Batterskull, also a choice. I think we're just going to go with Karn here. Well, let's see how good Karn is in this cube. Passing bribery feels weird, especially when you start on Mox Sapphire, but uh, that is how it goes. Let it be. Let it be. I have Let It Be stuck in my head, which is pretty okay. There will be an answer. Let it be. When I time myself in times of trouble. <laughs> Did we open Karn? Once. One time. Uh, living death off limits. Kolagon's command. That's good. That's a good. That's a good boy. Noxious Gear Hulk also a, vi a viable option. Trinket Mage, with Mox Sapphire a viable option. Um. Gaia's Cradle's a heck of a card. I think it's either Gear Hulk or Trinket Mage here, which I'm not super impressed with. I like Trinket Mage because it's pretty versatile, and you can go turn two Trinket Mage off of Mox and get some get another Mox, get your second Mox, or get like a Skull Clamp or something. Yeah, I'll take the Trinket Mage. I haven't actually built around Trinket Mage, so we'll see if that works out. Um, off limits, off limits. Shriek Maw is probably the reasonable pick here. Yeah, I like Shriek Maw. It kills a thing. I think Balance would have been good. Actually, Balance was my other choice outside of Trinket Mage. Especially because we do have a Mox, which uh, Balance does not count. Not only does it not count artifacts, but the Mox would uh, ideally inflate our our land count so it would have actually hit lands too i imagine progenitus is off limits in this stipulation so is so is hero's downfall and garrick uh windswift heath is an option probably the best option considering Yeesh. was watching on youtube again i think you're alive have you thank the nemo thank you so much man appreciate it Maelstrom Pulse could be good, and then we can just lean towards uh, Sultai. Oh, Progenitus is fine actually because it is six. It is it is six plus. That's a good point. I had not considered that. I, the only thing I don't like about Winsweat Teeth is that it's neither of our colors, whereas Maelstrom Pulse is just a strong card. Reanimate also pretty strong. I want to take the Reanimate because maybe we're some kind of Reanimator deck. <laughs> oh, Gonti, why are you off limits? Taiga, Savannah, Hissing Quagmire. Hmm. Spell Pierce is a thing. Spell Pierce is actually pretty reasonable. I've had some people get me with Spell Pierce before. I kind of like Hissing Quagmire. In case that Maelstrom Pulse comes back. But, uh, yeah, this pack is pretty rough. 
I'm just gonna take Spell Pierce. I think we can actually get him with a Spell Pierce. I think that's actually pretty good. No Dark Petition, no Elspeth. Gilded Lotus. I like Gilded Lotus here. Kellen, have, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna take Gilded Lotus here. I like an Orzhov Signet. Actually, I think I like an Orzhov Signet a lot here. Uh, it can't be Garrick or Rekindling Phoenix or Necropotence <laughs> or Day of Judgment. So it's either Signet, Copter, or Winter Orb because I don't think we're playing Elves. I think it's Signet. It's essentially an on-color Signet, and we could play White. So I'm actually surprised at how many cards are off limits. This is like, this step is actually pretty restrictive, which is nice um, because restrictions breed creativity, in case you guys did not know that. What you guys know about my restrictions? Oh, Elspeth is legal because it's six command of card, six six CMC plus. That's I keep forgetting that. That is correct. Uh, oh, I like a Tundra. I like an Oblivion Ring too. Pretty sure Tundra's better. We can also potentially get a Banishing Light at some point. We could also take a Joyra and be. I'm not a big Bring to Life fan at all because it only gets instant sorcerers and creatures, so it's very, very limited. If we can get Planeswalkers, I'd be on board 100%. Um, God, I like Joyra in this deck, but it might just be... I think it's just Tundra here. Treasure Cruise. Off-limits, off-limits, Magma Jet. I think it's just got to be Treasure Cruise here, which is really interesting. Pernicious Dude came back. Colagon's Command. Hmm. Well... Well, I think it's Colagon's command here. Restrict this. Wow, that seems really aggressive. Why are you the way that you are? Oh, uh, all right. Lightning Helix is a thing. These two are not. Yeah, we'll just take Lightning Helix here. Maybe we're not. No, the black is good and the blue and the. And the blue is good. These are our two iffies, I guess. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse did come back. That's interesting. All right. Well, yep. I gotta take Gorger here. Oh, Lightning. Actually, Lightning Grief seems good, especially if we do end up some kind of a reanimator shenanigans. Splinter Twin off limits. Council's Judgment off limits. Teferi is. This might be the first time we've been able to play Teferi, which is kind of nice. This might be the perfect Teferi deck. We're just playing Dominaria Standard decks, I guess. Factor Fiction, also very, very good, but I think Teferi is probably where we want to be. Hopefully Scrubland, Hotchers Tigger, or Factor Fiction come back, because I'm okay with all of those. Let's try Teferi for once. Dang, no Venser. Toxic Deluge is good. Toxic Deluge might be the, um, the sweeper that our deck needs, because we don't get to... Uh, take things like Day of Judgment, Wrath of God, or Supreme Verdict. History is off limits. Benser is off limits. Concealed Courtyard also an option. I think this is actually between Face Fetters, Concealed Courtyard, or Toxic Deluge. Hmm. Such a lucky birthday. You're right. I think it's actually Toxic Deluge here. Our white is a minimal splash, and this actually takes care of everything. Ooh, the double Karn deck. Ooh, that seems good. Carney boy OP. Thran Dynamo coming back would be just just fantastic. But we don't actually have anything to Thran Dynamo into yet, so I'd rather take the Karn and hopefully see something like Thran Dynamo come back. Huh. I actually kind of like this Tezzeret here in this deck. One, two, three, four. We have five artifacts already. Skull Clamp is good with Trinket Mage. The awesome Delp isn't over in this time. Birthday isn't over in this time zone. That's what we're going for. We're going for that extended birthday. I do like this as an artifact deck. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards are coming back. Skull Clamp might come back, but I think Tezzeret's actually pretty good, especially with Karn. Shackles is good. Here's that Charless Agent, but I don't think we're going to be able to take it here because we're not green. It might be Marsh Flats. Marsh Flats is actually great. Uh, I, I like Shackles a lot, but I don't think we're going to have enough islands to justify Shackles. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Marsh Flats here. S 
Sun Titan? Ooh, I like it on Burial Rites. Actually, Phantasmal is probably the pick. But also, Thirst for Knowledge is pretty good in the Artifact deck, right? So actually, we could take Sun Titan, Phantasmal Image, Thirst for Knowledge, or in Burial Rites. They're all, they're all, they're all legal here. I almost like Phantasmal Image the best, but it is pretty sensitive. Like we have Karn, Teferi, and Treasure Crew. I don't think we need more card advantage from like a card like Thirst, even though Thirst is very, very good. It is good with reanimate though. That is that is a true point. Yeah, alright, we'll take Thirst. I think that's a fine choice. Tamio, not an option. Angel, not an option. I could see just taking the mana confluence here, to be quite honest. I could also be taking Shrine of Burning Rage. Not a big Forge Master fan. We also don't have anything. Like, we're not gonna have I don't I don't like having to have a bunch of small artifacts to get rid of. I do like fixing our mana, especially if we're gonna play like a Colgon's command in the sideboard. I think it's better than Inspiring Vantage. Ooh, a Veraska. I feel like I'm always wanting to splash Veraska in our decks. I want to take this Frost Titan. I think Frost Titan's very strong, so. Anchorstone making also a pretty good option. But we don't actually have many threats right now. We have two creatures, one of which is a Trinket Mage. <laughs> so I'm going to actually take Frosty Boy. Birder, bur, birder, birder, birder. <sighs> Judgment. Came oh, the Factor Fiction came back. Oh my goodness gracious! A bunch of people in this draft don't even know what they're doing. Face fetters, I like. Concealed courtyard, I like. I almost want the concealed courtyard just because I think we want another. Uh, we we can play Frost Ad because. CMC more than six are exceptions. Yeah, we're going to take Concealed Courtyard here. Academy Ruins seems pretty decent in this deck if we get like a Mind Slaver. Buried Alive. I don't care about Buried Alive. Urborg, Urborg's a card I'll play. 100% play Urborg. I don't care about Brainstorm. Yeah, this Shardless Agent came back. Does Recruiter get us anything? It gets us Trinket Mage. I'm going to take the Recruiter just in case. Eh, we'll take Faithless Looting. Whatever. Shrine. Shrine is almost playable, to be quite honest. Like, it's just a two-mana artifact that we can just sacrifice to deal infinite damage at some point. This deck is looking pretty sweet, actually. I did say we play Shardless, but I'm not going to do it just in this. I'm not just going to do it to do it. If, we, if we're able to do it in a deck, I'll do it, but... Can you pick and play Shardless in, if it fits in, please? Yeah, that's... Well, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> I'm just going to take that. The only other cards in this pack we even take are Control Magic or maybe like Chupacabra or a Creeping Tar Pit. Yeah, we're just going to take the Lotus in the Artifact deck. Yep, that's pretty baller. Yes, please. We haven't gotten a Time Walk yet. I think Time Walk might be the one of the few power cards. We have. We've gotten a bunch of different Moxes. We've got a Lotus. We've got Ancestral. Time Twister isn't really power so i think the only thing the only card we haven't gotten this go around in the cube is uh time walk god the shrine is good we can get it with a marsh flats uh don't care about badlands bitter blossom actually seems pretty okay doesn't it Vraska's contempt not an option it's Ponder, Bitter Blossom, or Godless Shrine, I think. Uh, we don't have Academy. We don't have Talarian Academy. We have Academy Ruins, which is nice. We can just keep putting putting Lotus back on top. Bolus is splashable. We already have Karn. Oh, you guys are gonna you guys are just gonna make me pick the Bolus, especially with Black Lotus. Actually, Lotus mocks Orzov sitting at Gilded Lotus. I think Bolus is actually probably correct. Yeah, we're going to take Bolas. I, I think that's actually really okay. Actually, Stinks, Sphinx of the Steel one seems great in this deck. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, Probably not an... We're actually probably not a reanimate deck. I like Moldrifter here. I like Duplicant, and I like Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Mm. 
my concern is that we don't have a lot of things to do early. <clears throat> Like Sphinx of the Steel, and I guess we could we could thirst for knowledge reanimate, but duplicate gives us we have like we have we already have thirst for knowledge, factor fiction, Karn, Teferi. We have a bunch of card drawing. I think we can probably take duplicant here, just because it gives us a way to interact with obnoxious creatures. I do like Mole Drifter, but I think duplicate's probably better for us. Hollowed Fountain seems great. So does Boros Signet, actually. It lets us splash Nicol Bolas. That's actually really good. I think Boros Signet's the pick here. Actually, Dak Faden's also pretty good, but... I mean, these are also going in the sideboard as lands, so we also have five empty slots, and this is the last pack. I'm more worried about getting, getting playables here. Yeah, I think it's just Boros Signet here. I don't, I'm not too concerned with Hollowed Fountain. Our mana's actually pretty good. Although Blood Crypt is good, because now we Marsh Flats can get Tundra or Blood Crypt, which is a good splash. Uh, Lingering Souls is also pretty good. Why do we, do we, is there a reason we want Nahiri? Nahiri doesn't seem great in our deck. Her ultimate's pretty irrelevant, so she's just drawing and discarding. Or exiling enchantments or artifacts and creatures, but that's not, I mean, I'd, I'd almost rather fix our mana at this point. I almost like Lingering Souls better than Nahiri here. Like, I think our mana's actually pretty good. We have Martial Arts Tundra. We have a bunch of stuff. Might just be Lingering Souls. Yeah, I like Lingering Souls here. Jace, Bellerin, Gideon, not options. Show and tell. Like, this pack's pretty bad for us, actually. Um, not an option. This is an option, but, you know, we're probably not taking Yawgmoth's bargain here. Abrupt Decay is an option, but we have no green sources, so we're not going to really play it. Probably just the best of our... Actually, Searing Spear is fine. I mean, we have, we have a Boros Signet here, so... Whatever, Searing Spear might, might even make the cut. Oh, this pack's great. Course of Portal, Flame Tongue Kavu. Uh, I would 100% play Course of Portal in this deck, actually. This is pretty good. Firebolt. Don't care about Firebolt. We'll just play the Portal. That seems pretty sweet. Lotus Bloom. Interesting. Thing in the Ice? I don't think we're Thing in the Icing. I think we might be Lava Claw reaching, though. That actually seems fine. That's a fixing land. With one of our obscure colors as well, so... A Johnny, a Johnny is actually a Planeswalker I would play here. Uh, that guy's great. Yeah, let's a Johnny. Yeah, we're probably going to be thinking... Oh, the Goddess Shrine came back. So did Blade Splicer, actually. Blade Splicer probably makes the cut because we are missing two playables. I would like this Godless Shrine, but... Everything is terrible. Happy birthday. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight this guy so we can read this. The first thing I saw was when you crack, cracked a foil of this while drafting game. I probably haven't missed a single video since then. What a fitting pack. Three pick one. Keep the good work. And here's how we... Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Everything is less than terrible. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, Terminate's nice. Restoration Angel is actually pretty good here. We can blink our Trinket Mage to find a Lotus. We can blink our Blade Splicer. It's just, Or it's just a 3-4 Flyer. Blink our duplicate, blink our shriek maw. Actually, I like I like resto here. Uh, I'll take the empty the warrens, and then here he comes back. That's pretty funny. Also, Colagon's command and lightning helix are actually playable since red is our splash color. Huntmaster, sure. Jade light ranger, completely unplayable. So this is twenty three cards. Probably take off greaves because I don't think we're creature heavy, and we can bring in like uh, Colagon's command. So we have some main deck uh, artifact removal. I can also see cutting treasure crews because this isn't a deck that has a bunch of things going to the graveyard that we really want. Uh, and I can see playing like a lightning helix over that. 
keeps us alive. And then we'll be splashing four red cards. So it's a little heavier on the red, but we have a Boros Signet. We have a Lava Claw Reaches. We have a Gilded Lotus. <laughs> oh, God. Stiff ruined. This oh this is actually twenty three cards so never mind we don't actually have to we don't actually have to play anything else we actually have to make a cut so that's actually fine Herborg yeah we can also play Mana Confluence all of our lands are pretty much playable I think we play one red source one mountain but I'm not sure maybe not maybe uh one two three four let's actually sort by color I don't think there's actually many that there's not that many colors in this deck. This should be two of everything, actually. Two blue, two black, two red, two white. Yeah, okay, so this all cancels itself out. So we're actually significantly heavier blue than anything else. So... Boros Signet... Or is off seeing the concealed courtyard. Lotus Mox is just straight blue. All right, Airborg is straight black. All right, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black sources. That seems reasonable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white sources. That seems this is it's a seven, one, two. It's actually nine black sources. Nine black, nine of that one. So anyway, happy birthday, buddy. Stimulation monocolored deck, and you first pick... Okay, hold on. Let me write this down. All right. Give me one second. The Nemo 6. Uh, monocolored deck, and your first pick selects the color... Brown cards and lands don't count. No multicolor cards. Are you? Oh man. Um. Okay. So in a situation where we don't have the option to pick either, if there's no artifact and no cards of our color, what do we pick there? Anything is fine, I assume. Uh. One, two, three. We actually might need more. We can actually cut one of these for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white sources. Sure. Black sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Okay, cool. The Nemo Six. Awesome. We will do that. That is in the it is in the queue. We're gonna try to get through these. It's it's not easy. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. Oh I forgot Mox Sapphire. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think this is the correct mana base. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight blue sources. Seems good. Black sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black sources. And green, white sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white sources. And red sources, we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, that seems great. And the lotus counts for everything. All right, cool. do it let's do it i will play first this hand actually seems insane uh i'm gonna keep it <laughs> any one land and it's like a turn through course of portal we can deal with anything if we get a red we can go turn to Colagon's command nickel bolus is a little bit far off but uh we got lotus in <laughs> Happy birthday. Sweet. We got the happy birthday in the Magic Online chat, dude. That is gas. That is... You guys are absolutely the best. All right. Let's go Tundra here. 
I would say Urborg first, but I don't want to help them if they don't have any black, if they're playing a black deck and they don't have any black sources. I don't want to help you. It's no offense, opponent, but you're my opponent. Ponder, Ponderosa. Are Ponderosas even still around? Resto, Resto McBesto. All right, well, we helped them out. Come on, land one time. Can I get your opinion? No fancy on no fancy lands from nineteen. It kind of annoys me when I get it. Maybe it's best way to rotation. I don't take multicolor. Um, so the thing about the lands in M nineteen is that they're still very playable. In a lot of two color decks, those lands have been staples for a while now, and I think they're good enough. Um. The problem is they're not super great, but I think the thing is like, if you're gonna make big set, big set, big set, big set, big set, big set forever, if they're all gonna be big sets and there's no small sets, usually you release your land cycles in big sets. Uh, and considering all the sets are now big sets, I can understand why they don't wanna put them in core sets because that's, that's a lot of land cycles. Like you're just gonna have your it's 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 actually hard to come up with good land cycles for every single set you make, I think. Plus you might not want that many good land cycles. So I definitely understand why they would take a set off to to not have a good Oh a Lotus Bloom, okay. Okay. Oh, Lotus Bloom color strong. Give me give me that Coligon's command. I will name Homage. Homage. Is that a red source? That's a red source. I think we're killing this coalition relic and making them discard, I guess. One, two, three. Destroy an artifact. If only I could destroy two artifacts. One, two, three, four, five. I have six mana. We're real close. Oh, they're going to add a thing. Are you going to... You got a mana? Oh, counterspell. That's so brutal. That's not nice. Black Lotus next turn into Nickel Bolus. That's where I want to be. We get two draw steps to hit it. What am I drinking? This is a Diet A&W root beer. Naturally and artificially flavored, made with aged, real aged vanilla. Lotus. Love call reaches? I accept. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang, we're still two away. Dang it. Here's some more birthday books. Your tip total is a palindrome now. You're welcome. Man, that's all I ever wanted, really. <laughs> can you have a five-digit palindrome? Yeah, I guess you can, because it is the same forward as backwards, so I guess it doesn't matter. That, uh, the, the amount of, the amount of, uh, digits is irrelevant. Either way, everything is terrible. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, buddy. Always a pleasure. Vanilla is a thing? Thought it was something scientists in white suits. It might be. It would say real scientifically developed aged vanilla instead, I think, if that were the case, though. So, you know, could go either way. They have two cards in hand. They're going to go to three. 
Bacardi Pina Colada. I like Pina Coladas a lot, but I don't drink alcohol. Not for any real reason. I just don't enjoy the taste of it. So I'm a big uh, virgin Pina Colada fan. So... Me too, Matthew Ori. Yeah, you guys have been awesome. You guys have been super generous. I really appreciate the support. And the birthday wishes. Oh, they didn't do anything else. I like it. Every turn gets us two cards closer to that to that Black Lotus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We also only have like... We only have 15 lands in our deck because one of them is a Lotus, one of them is a Mox. And we've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight. We've drawn eight of 16 lands this game. That's a lot, dude. Stop calling me dude. Pretty sure we're just going to march flats and get a planes. Anyway, we got Nickel Bowls coming down next turn, so. You do only get one birthday a year. That's a true story. Ugh, gross. Okay, you can have tendrils. Or four lands. <laughs> totally up to you. Oh, boy. That's a good split. All right, four lands. Seems good. Good deal. Uh-oh. Oh, this is awkward. Here comes mine's desire. Oh, Yawgmoth's will. Oh, crying out loud. I'm gonna vomit in my mouth. Blah. <sighs> Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have 11 mana this turn. That's pretty brutal. All right, let's 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 see it. Let's see it happen. Having Ponder, Factor Fiction, Mystical Tutor, and Impulse in your graveyard is pretty strong. Glad we're at an odd life total though, and we haven't cracked this Marsh Flats because, boy, wouldn't that be awkward? Oh wow! All right, sure. That's a really good. <laughs> that's a really good card down in your hand. You played an island, so we know four of the five cards in your hand reasonable oh boy let's see it yeah this is gonna be rough Can I can a brother get a storm count? Storm count's like nine right now, just to be clear. Petal, petal, will bloom. So it's at least four. Five. Yep. All right. Remand. That's pretty good. Oh, that's actually game. Because you're just going to be able to uh, play Tendrils, Remand your Tendrils. That's actually really strong. It definitely shows up at 5. It definitely shows before 5. There's Storm Count... Storm Count... Storm Count 2 is a thing. Like, you've, you've... I've seen Storm Count 2 and 3 before. And we're still going to make them go through the motions. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, they just have it all. Their deck is great. This deck is fantastic. I've only seen like 15 cards of it and I'm already like, well, you... Oh my god. Oh my god. They're already at 9, so they actually they don't even need to remand their own Yawgmoth's will. They can just cast it.
Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, well, you got it. Okay, what can we do against that? Lightning helix you? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, probably just lightning helix you. I don't think it does anything. Deluge is probably dead. Um, apparently, we're just supposed to use Restoration Angel as a creature that comes out. Bring in Shrine, just because it's probably better than Duplicate at this point. Searing Spear, probably okay. I think we're just going to get... I guess we just get Burn for your face at this point. Not much, not much else to do. Eh, we'll take a Shriek Maw. All right, let's see what happens. Yes. Let's keep this hand. We got Lightning Helix into Kolagon's Command. Any blue, we get Thirst. Any land, we get Resto. This is a very, this is a real Mardu hand, but I'm okay with it. Oh, they went to five. I feel like Lightning Helix is pretty safe to their face. We also want to be able to maximize our mana use every turn because uh, we don't want to get clogged up with cards in our hand later in the game. We want to be able to finish this game as quickly as possible. So, It's pretty good. Like if they go Signet, we're just going to kill the Signet. That is a Tundra. I like that. It's a Tundra, but we need this if we want to... Uh, destroy an artifact, deal two. I'd rather you discard a card and deal two. Nope, discard a card and destroy an artifact is what I meant. And then next turn we can Johnny and tap their land down, which is pretty strong. Discard a commit to memory. So Buddy Mind said that they should add a secondary win con based on this based card in this cube where the universe is like play manual. Um, why do they need that is my question. Let's get a Tundra. I think we just borrow Signet. Actually, like they have to have Remand. Let's make them have Remand, I guess. They can't have Counterspell, so we'll just a Johnny here. And that's pretty good. A Johnny pretty strong. <laughs> All right. And we're probably thirsting here, but maybe we don't need to. Yeah, we can wait. Although if we hit like a Lotus, it's pretty good. This is the Hero of Dominaria, don't you know? And that game's over. All right, cool. Well, that went reasonably. Actually, I wonder if Nahiri is better than something else. Exiling like an artifact, like one of their artifacts, it seems pretty good. Plus, we get to ramp into Nahiri. Um... Yeah, but they're storming us out, so I, I my my sympathy for them is is lower than it normally would be. I think I'm just gonna play the Nahiri. I'm just gonna add it, and uh, we have double Signet, 16, 15, 17 mana sources. So stipulation FK command in the opener, and then just kind of win or something. I think we just completed that stipulation. Actually, boom, nailed it. Stip completed. This is the wrong Lotus, but this guy can get the right Lotus. Is this hand good enough? 
Turn three trigger mage into lotus. Play lotus. I don't know if this hand does it. I do like, I mean, I do like going turn four trigger mage into Mox, and then we can go turn five, turn four gilded lotus. I just don't think this hand does anything though. This hand actually does less. But any blue source lets us play Thirst for Knowledge or Colgon's Command. We're gonna keep this. Bottom U, unfortunately, and I just hope we hit it. Any any land lets us play Boris Signet, which is pretty nice. I don't think this hand is better, but I do think this hand is manageable. Oof. I wonder if we just shrine a brain rage here. No, we'll just play Signet. If you want to counter Signet with a that's totally fine. Deal. I actually like lingering souls here. Missed a land drop, unfortunately. All right. Oh, uh, we'll discard an artifact. We'll discard this guy. We'll play the Lava Claw Reaches. And now I feel like we actually got a game. Unless they do something like Factor Fiction and then they just go off next turn. But it doesn't seem like that's... Oh, just blink of an eye on one token. That's a nice. They do have a lot of time, though. Which is unfortunate. We could also just keep up Colagon's command and and make uh, Lingering Souls tokens, which would be nice. So we can go into yeah. Let's just do that. Because they have five mana, so we're not. If they go counter spell, they still have spell pierce mana up. I'm not too afraid of that. Um. Yeah, that's annoying, but. Thank you. Noble penguin, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Um. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we have six. We have eight damage in hand. This is nine. Also, Lava Claw Reaches is a real card at this point. Oh, Mind's Desire in the Graveyard. That's cute. Yeah, we have to do this now because, I mean, we could wait until they just go, like, Yawgmoth, Bargain. I mean, like, we just hope they don't have, like, the nuts. But, I mean, if we make another guy next turn, this is actually three, four. 
uh five six seven eight nine and then we have this like we have a lot of damage here we just have to survive like two turns also if we draw like lotus it's probably just game I mean, we don't have enough for everything. Like, if we if we activate Lava Claw, it's 1, 2, 3 for a 2, 2. So, 4 mana is occupied for a 2, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. It leaves us 2. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It puts them to 2. So, that doesn't actually kill them. Uh, we can pump it once with Urborg, but that still doesn't kill them. Actually, that would kill them because that would deal one more damage. And then the Karn creature would also make this a 3, 3. So, that would actually be lethal. But, I mean, that assumes they don't have anything... Uh, to deal with that stuff. And they might not. Magic's hard. I think they're trying to figure out if they can go off this turn. Usually if you're trying to figure out if you can go off this turn, you usually can. <laughs> because you have so many pieces that you're confused about whether you can do it or not. And usually that just means, yeah, you probably can. However, their, their graveyard is not nearly as stacked as it was last game with Factor Fiction, uh, Impulse, Lotus Petal... Uh, Lotus Bloom, like, they, they, their, their setup is not nearly as good as it was last game. Or game one, rather, I should say. Oh, well, it's currently 1 a.m. here, so um, I don't have any other plans today. Sorry, mathing. Yeah, well, you be sure to let me know if I'm dead. So we're just gonna have to uh, just gonna have to sit back and and let nature take its let nature run its course, the Magic the Gathering way. Letting nature take its course, the sto a storm story. Uh, yesterday was my birthday. I've been streaming. I, this is like my third draft I've done today. The twenty fifth. Was my was was my birthday is if you are still on the West Coast. Ten more birthday bits. Amped, you're awesome. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the birthday bits. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that's great. Yep. All right. So two floats. It's gonna body like it's your birthday. I guess we can just F6 here. We don't actually have any responses, right? Oh, an hour of birthday left in Denver. I'm down. The awesome Delp. Thank you so much. Not 12 yet on the West Coast. That's what I'm saying. I still got about two good hours on the West Coast. Yep. I'm pretty sure we're dead here, but I think we put up a really good fight against the Storm deck, so... I mean, we don't have many cards that interact with the Storm deck, so... Spencer, thank you so much, buddy! Happy birth! 
Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are the best. San Francisco, you're good for another two. Yeah, I got two more birthday bits. Well, it's hard to call them good hours, but you still have two hours. Thank you. The Nemo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Mike is in his bed sleeping, I would imagine. Oh my god, a face-off stuff for you and my some person each other throughout, throughout off-limits. That sounds hilarious. Oh, interesting. Is this a desperation tendrils, or is this like a, I'm gonna... Oh, they're gonna remand this and, and kill us, aren't they? That's my guess. Or they're gonna just yog moth and, and replay everything and kill us. Yeah, that's my guess. Sack pedal. Sack pedal. Sack pedal. Oh, just regrowth. All right. Hmm. That's pretty good. We're not dead, though. But, I mean, boy, are we... Oh. I see. So we go to 3 and you go to 30. It's not ideal, but we're not dead. Hmm. One, two, three. All right, let's do a thing. One, two. All right. I mean, they could still have like Yogmoss will just get back tendrils, kill us, like. Minister Katauga, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, God. I really wish Colagon's command was random discard. It's just going to be Yogmoth's will, right? Coalition Relic. Oh, that's not a Yawgmoth. How much can we deal next turn? 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's go black. Red. Destroy. 2 damage to any target. Destroy an artifact. Kill this. Destroy your face. They don't have Remand. They don't have Counterspell. I don't think we can win this turn, but they didn't have anything, so who knows. Can we deal 20? Probably not. Let's see what they hit. Two artifacts. Nickel Bull is Frost Titan, actually. That's pretty good. I imagine you give us Frost Titan here. Two, three, four. Nope, not going to use the white source. Four, five, six. Frosty. Frosty the Titan. A very frosty boy. One, two, three, four, five. Um, tap down a black source. And then we'll blink it. I mean, we're not going to do it during upkeep. We're probably going to do it now because I don't want it to untap. But. Oh, 
All right. Giving it a good run here. It's going to be factor fiction. Oof. So if we give you both of these, I don't want you to be able to choose one or the other, right? You can take this pile, you get Yogmoth's Will, you go one, two, three for Yogmoth's Will. These two don't untap. You can go Lotus Petal. I think we're dead. Yeah, they got Lotus Petal Ritual. They just had to hit Yogmoth's Will, I guess. I don't know. It's... Yep, we tried. Nothing we could do there, I guess. Yep, Yogmoth, get Lotus Petal back, play Cabal Ritual, kill us with Tendrils, cool. Yep. Oh, the old preemptive GG's. Always a good time. Why are we just, just cast the tendrils? I have no cards in hand. Alright, whatever. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Just cast it. Come on. There you go. You did it. Oh well. We did all we could do. I guess. I guess we did all we could do. I don't know. It felt like it was real close. Like I think we gave it the best shot we could have uh, we we could have asked for, so. Uh mulliganing this hand, it's pretty bad. This hand is pretty good though. Turn two. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a white black source. Do we? we did, did we get the Galda Shrine? I think that was last draft. But um, you should add to Twitch suggestion box that Prime sub should have the option to auto renew. Um, I feel like I can't be the only one who have done that. I will keep this hand. Put you on the bottom. I want to get a black source, but I also want to get a white source. So that's tricky. It's tricky. It's trick, trick. Amp, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, I guess we'll get a white source because we have more things we can cast with white. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be lingering all day. Yeah, you just want to keep storming in case we have a counter or two. That makes sense. I understand. Triggered. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five. Gilded Lotus into fact or fiction. We're actually just going to factor fiction right now because they're playing green. Oh, the evolution of the Lotus. <laughs> oh. I appreciate all its stages. Oh, this is a good this is a good split, boy. Um, I kind of want the land pile to be quite honest. Teferi's great, but this is going to draw us. This is just better. And we get to keep up Spell Pierce, so cool. Cool beans. Teferi's gone, but not forgotten. Play a Harmonize. Do it, I dare you. Play a 4-mana Karn. Do it, I dare you.
three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, the old seven mana on turn three, a classic. See, this is what happens. You go from the game with, uh, against Storm to this, and it's like, oh, why would you do this? Why would you be like this? You think somebody's your friend, and then they kill your Gilded Lotus with their, with their Dissenter's Deliverance. My god. What? I want to discard a crappy artifact. I don't even have one. Discard two cards? Yeesh. I guess we just get rid of a Johnny and Spell Pierce here. <laughs> I'm going to play Orborg because I want to be able to cast my spells, dude. <laughs> oh, I see, Matthew. Already. Sometimes I don't know when you're joking, Matthew. Oh, good times. We're going to get rid of a Johnny because he doesn't seem great. We're also going to get rid of Planes. Pew, pew. One, two. If we hit a land, we can actually go uh, Shriek Maw, Evoke Shriek Maw, Restoration Angel Shriek Maw, and kill two of their sweet sweeties. Their, sweet, their little sweetie boys. Man, Dissenter's Deliverance on Gilded Lotus is just a crime. Yeah, we're going to kill all the things. Petal in hand. Actually, they might fawn a shaman here, discard a guy, and then uh, get another thing. More sound effects. <laughs> we can also, I mean, if we don't get dressed up, we can just actually shriek them all and kill this. That's fine, too. Discard Corsair, what are we getting? What's happening? Lotus Petal on the top. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the Lotus Petal shifts. Super average. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, look, they searched for a creature, and the Lotus Petal is still on top. Remember that argument we got in the other day about how when you search for a card while the top card of your library is revealed, the top card actually doesn't change? Um, Yeah, it's almost like that happened right now, and the library never changed. Yeah, that's real weird. Oh, wow, never didn't have it. <laughs> that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. 8% chance. 8% chance. 8% of the time, it happens every time. Yeah, well, you guys... I rest my case, I think. Either way, they have Lotus Petal. Who do we target? Yes. Pew 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 pew. Oh boy. Ash, thank you so much. Have a good night, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it, it sure happens a lot. Even though even though I am looking for it, when I'm looking for it, I find it a lot. <laughs> so, and you can see, you see, like, I mean, you're not going to see it if it doesn't change, but it doesn't change. That's the thing. The card remains the same. 
I think when it, when Magic Online, I think it's a programming issue. I think it's a programming issue where if the top card of your library is revealed, that card isn't isn't counted uh, when your library is shuffled. Oh, they just drew two with that. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is that is unfortunate. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so that's game, I guess. Super average. Thank you so much, man. So you finally see the live stream. Appreciate it. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is only ten. I don't know what dreams that deck has, but man, oh man, I can imagine the feelings of a turn one ever. <laughs> Oh. Uh, let's go destroy an artifact to your two to your dome piece. Black ones. On moles, if you scry a card to the bottom, and if there are multiple copies of that card in your deck, don't you draw that card still? I heard that was another bug. Uh, pff, pff, probably. <laughs> but no, it's actually not a bug. There's an 8% chance that it happens, and it just, that's, it just happened to happen every single time. 8%. 8% chance. Never didn't have it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. Like, it's just funny. Like, I'm like... When I say things like that, it's not like I'm like, this seems crazy. I have no evidence to support. No, it just happens a lot, dude. It happens a lot. Um, I can't imagine we're going to sub anything. Lightning Helix and Spearing, Searing Spear are actually probably pretty good here, to be quite, to be quite frank. Uh, Toxic Deluge also pretty good. We'll just submit like this. I ain't too concerned with it. <gasps> oh! oh boy. Oh boy. Unfortunately, we don't get to play turn one of Johnny Vengeant. We can go. We can go with Johnny Vengeant next turn though, which is pretty sweet. Oh yeah, we're gonna kill that dude. Oh boy. Amp, thank you so much for the for the more for the more bits. Morbids? Um, do we just evoke Shriek Maw and tap down a land? That seems good to me. So we can go black, blue, Shriek Maw, and tap down a land. Let's do that. Do not activate that. Oh boy. Got him. This seems pretty good. Uh, why not Shriek Maw plus Angel? Because they only have one creature out. Plus, I want to get rid of the Rafellos. Oh, I mean, I want to get, I want to tap, I want to get Garrick out and start tapping their Landums. Wow, we are real close to uh, ultimating the Sajani Vengeant. Sure. Oh, this Spell Pierce is going to wreck him when they play this 5-mana Garrick. It is going to be bad. Oh, that's a dude. That's a big, big. I mean, we can actually Deluge for 8 here and not really uh, feel, the, feel the burn too badly. Um, keep up the blue. Meh. I don't love it, but it'll do. What good is this ultimate? You only have one artifact? 
Uh, it destroys all their lands, not my lands. Oh, I want to say good games don't made. Uh... Yeah, it's not destroy all lands. It is destroy their lands. Uh, Johnny is a powerful wizard. You've never seen that Ajani in years? Have you never seen it? Or have you not seen it in years? Those are two different things, my friend. Oh, I haven't seen that. Okay, there we go. We fixed it. <laughs> I've never seen that Ajani once this week. Oh, that's a weird thing to say. Um. Oh, this hand is great. Look at these, look at all these walkers, man. We're going to ship it, though. The hand itself is great. Oh, we can keep this because it's actually still a turn three, turn, turn three of Johnny, which is nice. If we don't die by that point, this nickel bolus is pretty scary. Did Mike get the Mike didn't get me a cake. He's a real, he's a real dirt burger. Maybe he'll buy me some tacos tomorrow. We can go to some. We can have a beat. Sometimes you just want a seven mana planeswalker to go with your eight mana planeswalker. I've never had good Italian food once this year. Uh, ironically, I believe you because of Seattle, but, you know. All right, you get five mana. Kill me. Kill me. Let's see if we're dead. We're probably dead. Oh, man, the time we locked the opponent out of paying for Pact on their upkeep, that was gas. I'm a big fan of that game. Oh, that was a good land to draw. Is Alfredo sauce supposed to be so rich? Yes, it's literally butter and cheese and eggs. It's like the richest food you can ever eat. Don't you ever use this again. All right. Well, we got a, we landed in a Johnny, right? Butter, cheese, eggs. <laughs> oh, Chris, I love you, buddy. No, seriously, I love you. Oh, another mox, eh? Okay. Got to go. We got to go with me soldering. Do they not? What's going on here? Do they not have anything? Well, I would love, uh, would love a little, a little mana here. Oh, Black Lotus would have been amazing that turn because then we can play Nickel Bolas, Nikki B. That Chris, uh, Spencer, that actually is Chris. That is, uh, that is Chris with the beard, bearded Chris. Chris from Kent, if you will. I'm just gonna play this Restoration Angel because maybe that's what we're supposed to do here. Duplicant. Yes, that's lucky, lucky, lucky Spencer. <laughs> oh, man, it's like a can't reunion up in here. Our opponent has five cards, and I don't know what's going on. Are they just going to wait till we ultimate this, and then they're going to steal it with the Zealous Conscripts? I feel like that's what's going to happen here. And I'm actually terrified of that, so I don't want that to, to happen. Uh oh. That's old Franny search. That's pretty good. One, two, three floating. God, is this really two storm decks? I mean, repeal, Gataxian probe, frantic search, soul ring, mox ruby, and Teleri academy kind of feel like storm. Come on. Spencer, I'm still, I will still wait for that, uh, for the lucky, lucky, lucky. I think there have been times in this in this stream alone where we, we, we could have been lucky and lucky. Oh, Cabal Ritual. 
cool the two storm deck draft guys we're having a good time Well, this is my worn power stone. It's so worn and dirty. I don't even like it anymore. Ew. Boy. Coercive portal. All right. I'm going to just say okay to all these things because... Well, that guy's not spell pierceable at all, is he? Well, you're not really spell... You have one card in hand, though? That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five... Black Lotus. Dang it! Berg. I guess we can duplicate that guy. That's pretty cool. Duplicant your duplicant. Yes. Tap down. Tap down this academy now. That card is busted. All right. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No zealous conscripts as last card in hand. Come on, buddy. They voted for homage. I'll vote for homage too. Let's see if we get Rickrolled, as our opponent's name implies. I don't feel good about it. Zealous, Zealous Conscript's last card in your hand. Calling it right now. Do we go to eight to try to keep a Johnny up? No, we actually destroy all their lands. That is the greediest thing I've ever heard. In cube, no, every turn counts. Every turn in cube is so much more, more is so much scarier than any other format. Here comes the Ogmoss will. I'm gonna vomit. Oh god, of course. Oh, and they got a repeal in the graveyard, so they can just repeal a Johnny. Great. Yep, you have got it. Well, we had a good run, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, how do we get how do we play against two storm decks in a row? Come on. And they get to untap Academy to make four mana. Please. Discard two islands? Come on. All right, I don't care about that guy. Unless you're just upping your storm count here, which is, which is whatever, I guess. This is game one, yes. Matthew Ori's been hitting the sauce tonight, so you gotta, you guys gotta forgive him. Yep, no one saw that coming. But we're still actually not in terrible shape. Well, now we're in bad shape. <laughs> okay. All right. Island. Control Magic. Ashiok. Pentad Prism. Brainstorm. Tezzeret. And a Dunther. So you had three Planeswalkers and a Control Magic. Seems good. If only there was some way to show the cards that were... I guess it's these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everything penta. There was an island though too, so that's really weird. Oh my god! <sighs> storm decks, am I right? Always a pleasure, storm decks. Always a pleasure. They only have nine cards in their deck. I guess that's... I guess that's an option. <laughs> to, you know, win with... Is 
they just make their core support portal five five so they can attack? I don't know. I just work here. Cause tonight's gonna be a good, good night. Cool. Orzov Signet. I mean, next turn they can just ultimate the Tezzeret Agent of Bolus. Right? And this guy gets plus one, plus one, right? So they can actually just make all their guys five fives or deal us twice as one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's a lot. They have eight cards left in their deck? Jesus. Alexa, play the night begins. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. You guys are manipulating Alexa right now, and I don't appreciate it. I do appreciate the bits, though. Thank you so much, buddy. Awesome delp. Thank you so much. Even if you are trying to be sneaky. Oh, wow. Demonic Tutor. Just in case. Oh, boy. I feel like this cube should have doubling season in it, because if you can go, like, doubling season into, like, Nickel Bolas or something. Land! Oh, Gilded Lotus. Cool. I had a fun game. All right. So, let's take out things like Shriek Maw and Toxic Deluge. And we'll bring in, like, Lightning Helix. Nahiri can definitely come in here. Yeah, that was, uh, I feel like we had a good game there. And this hand seems really bad. Mm, this hand seems better if we can get one land. Come on, one land. I'm game. Elite, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will keep this hand and will bottom you. And we're really hoping for one land off the top. I will also take a Lotus at this at this point. Because then we get to go double Signet, which is just fine. Yep. Sometimes you just... Yeah, all right. Cool. Well, not too bad, actually. Karn makes four fours. So if their hand just sucks, that's cool. Land, 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 land. Oh, the best all around. And nothing's going to ever keep you down. You're the best all around. Is it just a Johnny keeps their soul ring tapped? That seems good. What are the odds he resolves? 100%, obviously. That was pretty good. That shut off two of their lands. Although, Karn being able to, like, we go this into this or vice versa, and uh, all of a sudden Karn's guys are pretty big. All of these lands we're hitting are actually really good. We can go Signet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to activate this now because I don't actually want them to, like, repeal it in response to this Karn. Make a 3-3. Three, three. This is not going to be a 24-hour stream, as you can probably imagine. I only have six mana, which is not a tremendous amount, but it's also a pretty good amount. 
course of portal that's a good card how about a nahiri off the top can we do that <clears throat> one two three four five six i feel like we're very close uh let's keep the blue up i don't think it matters no it doesn't matter we're just gonna it's fine Make five fives. Alright, so next time we have Nicol Bolas. So I guess they have to win here? I don't know. So anyways, I've been watching YouTube videos for a week. Nice! Puke hole. Glad to hear it, buddy. Uh, let's make sure we don't accidentally vote for uh, Carnage. Yep, we're going to vote Homage. Enjoy your cards, my friend. Hey guys, it's a little late night ASMR stream here on Frank Lepore's Twitch channel. Just wanted to make sure you guys were ha having a nice uh, little Magic the Gathering online. A little sleep, sleep time, a lot of sleepy time uh, relaxation here. And uh, I'm just going to drink this Mountain Dew. And it's actually root beer. Root beer. Wait, I don't have my... Headphones on. <laughs> Hold on, please. Wait. The best kinds of nightmares. ASMR two Dominary cards being rubbed together. Hold on. I don't have two Dominary cards, but I do have two Elemental tokens. Wow, this is amazing. The things that the things that you become in the in the late hours of the night. This is see when when your opponent takes like five minutes to, to go through their turn and without without even doing anything without even tapping a land, uh, you can tell that's the moment they're trying to figure out if you're dead. So usually, like we said earlier in round one, usually if it takes them this long, you you're dead. We didn't die. We get to just untap and play our turn. That's fascinating. Let's reveal two two gentlemen. What do we got here? Treasure cruise Nahiri. Eh, that's pretty good. They're probably going to give us the cruise because that is just an expensive piece of garbage <laughs> that doesn't really do anything. Well, that's just a piece of junk. So this is 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, and they are at 15. So let's go... Black, 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 red... No one taps for you. One. I guess this is... It's always better to just tap the... Uh, Nickel Bolus. Nicky B. Nikki Bottoms. Let's just get rid of this. You don't need more cards. If you couldn't do it last turn, I'll make you do it. We'll make you do it next turn. Alright. I guess we're just gonna... Oh, uh, we couldn't make another Golem. Karn was at one. Not two. Karn is only at two because we plussed him. He doesn't, he doesn't live... He doesn't stay... He doesn't stay at two, naturally. I mean, alternatively, we could have given him another card, but then cut out a signet or something, but I don't know. We literally just need one more turn, so we'll see if it if it matters. Yep. It's probably not going to matter. We're probably dead here. 
I have Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, and Yogmoth's Will in my hand, you see. <laughs> I have all the cards I need to go off with my cool storm deck in the vintage cube. I wouldn't mind storm so much if like it wasn't 20 minutes of me just doing nothing. If they just won real quick, if they were just like Rakdos was trying to kill you, I'd be like, "All right, cool, let's go. Let's let's go back to the uh Yeah, sure. This is an early Yogmoth's Will with not much in the graveyard. They might just have tendrils and just be tendrilsing me for this is three. Oh, you're brain freezing me. Sure. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, twelve, twelve. Thirteen, four, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 4, 5, 6, 27. Exactly. Okay, cool. That should do it. Unfortunately, we don't have an Eldrazi in our deck. So, as long as your storm counts five. Yep. And it already is. So... Hooray. Never don't have it. <laughs> Hooray. That's what I always say. He never says that. Just hit it. Just click the button. Why are we why are we doing this? Just click the button. There you go. We figured it out. We don't have an Eldrazi in our deck, right? I just get to look at the whole thing. We got a treasure cruise. Actually, our treasure cruise is pretty sick right now because we can probably delve all these cards away. Congrats on being able to win on the exact turn you needed to. All right. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been a delight tonight. Uh, Jim, hopefully that, or John, hopefully that, uh, that, that, um, that step was okay. I feel like we have here, we adhered to the rules and our deck was actually pretty cool. We just managed to not have very many answers to the storm deck, unfortunately, and the storm decks, uh, we're out in full force, it seems. So thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to su supply a stip of your own or have me critique a deck or just support me on Patreon, check out the links below in my profile in the description in the description of this video. You can find information there. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.